tiny house on wheels in Australia. You're thinking about building one or buying one. You need to know about the new vehicle regulations that have just come in. We used to be under the VSB1 revision 5 and now we're under the VSB1 revision 6. That came in on July the 1st, 2023. So just over a month ago now. Uh, what that means for you, the definition of a caravan and a trailer hasn't really changed. They've gotten clearer in the VSB1 revision 6 about uh, the visibility of outline marker lights, for example, the different angles that they have to be visible from. They've, they've made a lot of more illustrations in the VSB1 revision 6 to make it easier for somebody to just understand what the design rules mean. Um, because the whole VSB1 revision 6 is a summary statement of the Australian design rules pertaining to making vehicles in Australia. Now, the great thing about the new VSB1 revision 6 is that most of the changes are administrative, behind the scenes for people who are producing tiny house trailers or tiny house caravans, both, because what we're having to do now is to provide evidence for our compliance to the ADRs. So that improves the quality overall of what is being put out there on the roads and hopefully increases safety for users and people who are on the road. Um, overall, it has been a lot to get our heads around in the industry. There are still quite a few questions that are floating, but I just wanted to um, jump out there because I'm answering a lot of questions about whether or not the VSB1 revision 6 is in effect, and it is. Um, all of our trailers have their vehicle type approvals, which means that they all have vehicle identification numbers. Um, they're all available for registration. They're all um, able to be uploaded onto the register of approved vehicles. So that's like a new set of layers of administration. And essentially it's a new way of checking for in terms of your consumer information, like if you're thinking about buying a tiny house or buying a tiny house trailer, you want to be able to check that those things are entered onto the register of approved vehicles because that will determine whether or not you're able to eventually register your tiny house if you want to. And registration can really support your insurance eligibility um, and your ability to have a conversation with council where you definitely get classified as a vehicle and not as a don't want the building permits to apply to your tiny house, right? So staying within the realm of the vehicle um, is really provable. But ultimately, right now, knowing that some, your vehicle has been added to the RAV means that the design rules have been followed and that whoever's made that tiny house or trailer or the tiny house itself has made declarations and provided evidence to the Department of Infrastructure, that federal body, through the... Um, through Rover, this new system, to make sure that it can enter onto the RAV, the v Register of Approved Vehicles. So once you get that big green tick on the RAV, um, you've met a high standard and you're eligible for registration. Okay, hope that helps. More to come.